shared this story um, before on the show in a different um, subject matter, but it relates. Yes, I've had multiple things spoken over me. I remember when I was in a different um, singing group before I came in, to Nashville and decided I'm gonna like pursue a solo deal. And uh, the leader of the group, the you know, the person that you're like looking to mm -hmm. for basically like a pastor, an authority, mm -hmm. said, oh, <laughs> did you actually think that you were a good singer? Like, oh. I mean, you're actually a zero. Um, these are exact words. You're actually a zero. In fact, I never hired you for your singing voice. I hired you for your personality, but that didn't turn out to be very good either. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. Like, I can laugh. Like, literally, y'all are like, oh. Is that your <laughs> thick skin, soft heart? Is that when the it started? Thick skin, soft heart. <laughs> but do you know that for years, yes. that yeah. was not only did it, like, crush me and oftentimes make me feel like I was a zero, but it yeah. fueled me in the wrong way, too. Because mm, right. it fueled me with, like, an mm. anger yeah. that was like, a, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? yeah? I'll show well, you. I'm going to show, show you, you right. who's a zero, you know? Right. And it's funny because then you can say, well, no, but that kind of fueled you in a good way because it led you to, well, no, yeah. it didn't. <laughs> it yeah. didn't fuel me because it was, it was coming from a place still of such a wound. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing is, yes, God will always use the wounds. In fact, mm -hmm. I think he uses the wounds more than anything yeah, else in our yeah, lives. I, I know that the theologian will tell me, this isn't theologically correct, but I'm pretty sure that God maybe doesn't reserve a piece of himself, but I just experience him in the valley oh, yeah. in ways I never yeah. experience him on the mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yet we always want the mountaintops yeah, so badly. Right, right. <laughs> but I experience him and I'm like, are you just making me more aware of you? I know you don't reserve a piece of yourself for those who are mm. in the deepest valley, but sometimes it feels like he does, sure does. because so you near. just experience him in right. such a real way. Um, but I think that that wound, that's the thing. We have to allow him to heal those wounds. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's gonna hold us back, whether it's keeping us from being able to step right. out because we're paralyzed by a right. negative word, or it actually fuels us to step out, right. but we're stepping out from a place of bitterness right. and anger instead of And then the trajectory is just a little bit off. Yeah. Totally. I, I think I was talking to some younger friends recently, and I said, I think our culture with regards to women who have been legitimately wounded, I think we've gotten in power and in rage mixed yes. up. Yeah. Because it's That's totally good. different when you're yes. enraged because that leads you to a place right. you actually That's don't good. want to get. Right. But to be empowered yes. is redemptive. It yes. leads you to the place God has always called you. Tack att du hjälper oss att sprida budskapet om Jesus Kristus som kan förvandla och förändra ut över hela vårt land. För utan dig så kan inte vi göra det här. Så tack och Gud välsigna dig.